Africa Adventure, Part 2. Episode, Hunting for Buffalo and Impala. The hunt is on. After a very brief night's sleep, today's hunt begins at 2 o'clock in the morning. Following a long drive to the bait, we have our hopes set on finding a lion. Unfortunately, nothing is in sight for the time being. After a small breakfast snack and the breathtaking scenery of Tanzania, we continue hunting. Suddenly, Blake spots a telling movement in the thicket. Of course, we have to take a closer look. Our trackers have already verified it with Blake. There is clearly something in the bush. The only thing that bothers us somewhat are the tsetse flies. The bites are truly painful, but after all, we are right in the middle of the jungle. Judging by the movement, we are already very close to our prey. But what are we about to discover? Suddenly, Everyone stops and we catch a glimpse of movement in the thicket. Impalas emerge in front of us. Now we have to move quickly. The Impalas flee after the shot. How did our hunter miss? Did he hit the target? Yes, we immediately find blood on the ground. After only a few meters, we start the search. After a short search, our hunter finally brings down the strong Impala bull with a well-aimed shot. Good hunting. After a successful hunt, we have our first campfire before lunch. On the menu are Dyker and fresh Impala liver, beautifully prepared by Blake. Josef from Westfalia Jagdreisen cuts the fresh vegetables. After a hearty meal, we take a short break in the hammocks. When we finally continue our hunt, we spot some buffalo. We drive straight past them and attempt to stalk them. There are at least three bulls. Now we have to approach them as quickly and inconspicuously as possible to find out if there is a suitable buffalo. So far, they haven't noticed us. We hope it stays that way. We have managed to get close enough and can hardly believe it. All three pass and Blake fires immediately. Our hunter quickly decides to kill the emaciated buffalo with the severe injury first. We are intrigued to see the effect of the 425 caliber African shiring. Direct hit. The tension is at its peak. Our bodies are pumped full of adrenaline and already our hunter is setting up again. Perfect, hit two. And now the aim is to attempt the virtually impossible and bring down the third buffalo as well. That would be a sensational achievement.
The pressure is extremely intense. But even under these circumstances, our hunter does not forget his spent shells. It's all about complete concentration and not making a single mistake. Now, quickly onwards. The buffaloes formed a trio that worked together. This fact may make it possible for us to take another shot at the third buffalo, as it will most likely wait for the others. That's just the way it works, after all. Now just to this bush, and then maybe we can try another shot. We can hardly believe it. Our hunter has actually made the impossible seem possible. Another quick sighting. And this shot is on target again. Today, we are given an impressive reminder of just how resilient these fascinating animals are. It really has been done. Our hunter was able to kill three old buffaloes in just over two minutes. Three buffaloes! Three! Three! Yes. yes. Unimaginable and simply brilliant. Yeah. Three, I've never done three. Two, yeah, but three. Woo. Great team. Yeah, <laughs> Joseph. As unimaginable as it sounds, the hunting gods really seem to have something planned for us today. Our trackers have discovered strong buffalo tracks. Without further ado, we decide to follow them. And in fact, we catch sight of two buffalo. They are already very anxious. Now we have to move as slowly and as quietly as possible to get just a few steps closer. Will they give us the time? Will our hunter keep his nerve again? We will see. And suddenly, once again, everything changes. The buffaloes are fleeing. Now our hunter must quickly find a suitable shooting position. Both shots Reload are on quickly. target. Now we have to go after them quickly. The buffalo won't get far with these shots anyway. It will probably give up. 
But that doesn't concern us too much, because our hunter has already reloaded. And there he is. An unimaginably successful buffalo hunt ends with a perfect shot. It is not enough that our hunter has actually managed to bring down three old buffaloes from a herd with so few shots. To crown it all, he even manages to kill a top caliber buffalo in the manner of a driven hunt. We let the hunt play over in our minds and all that remains is to wish him a good hunting season. We enjoy our remaining time to the fullest and are curious to see if we will have more luck with the lion bait next time.